Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the cottage. Uh, we have a beautiful morning here this morning. It's probably the first really lovely morning we've had this autumn. We've had a lot of rain, but boy, it's turned it on today. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick look at what we've got left still in the garden. Um, we're starting to slow down a bit now, and I expect that uh, we'll probably have our last harvest at the end of autumn and then we'll be planting our winter crops. So we're preparing beds for our winter crops still. As you can see, we have sweet corn growing here. Sometimes it makes it to uh, maturity, other times it puts on a lot of growth, but unfortunately we don't get it the full way there. Um, if it doesn't work this year, we'll probably try growing it in polytunnels next year. But certainly they're healthy. There's only 10 or 12 uh, plants here and I may have put them in a little bit too late but uh, we'll see how things go. If the weather continues like this we should be right. In the second uh, raised garden bed here we've put some dwarf beans, two different varieties here. The first one's a lighter colour bean, so almost a, a butter bean and the standard dwarf beans here at the rear and because we've put them in the raised beds and put some top-notch soil in there they've really put on a lot of growth and a lot of beans and flowers forming at the moment. So we had our first feed of these beans the other night and they were beautiful. Further on the other side of the other half of the uh, garden bed we've got basil, lettuce, beetroot, onions and of course the marigolds to help keep the bugs away and that seems to be working really well as Anne highlighted in a previous video. In the front raised garden bed, the first one we built. And I'll just uh, take the net off. So we have to have the net over this one because we have a lot of small lettuces. Let's turn around. And uh, there's a couple of broccolis and cauliflowers growing in there. We put them in early and they're coming along well. So as you can see, we like to mix everything up. It's part of the permaculture way. Uh, it not only confuses the pests a bit, but it means that we're not uh, relying on just one crop and have uh, a pest or disease wipe it right out. So by having it set up this way, um, intermingled, polyculture, as they say in permaculture, it, uh, they seem to thrive together. So we've got lots of peas coming up here, a second crop. Once again, basil, lettuce, the oak leaf lettuce there, the darker one. Uh, this is um, the Italian parsley or curly parsley. And that uh, has really gone great in these beds this year. We've actually cut it right back. Anne's been drying it. Once again, you'll see that in the previous um, video. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Here is the perfect example of the sort of damage that the mountain possums here in Tasmania do to uh, the ornamental trees. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago he climbed up and sat at the top of the uh, leading branch here on the silver birch and broke it off. And he's come back last night and done some more damage. So I'll try and splice up the branches with some sticks and tape. I'm not sure how it will go, but we'll see see if they take hold again. <laughs> Here is just some black insulation tape, and I've used a eucalyptus branch to try and strengthen or splint the main two branches that are broken off here. 
hopefully they'll make a recovery. Still green anyway, at the moment. Those two done. So what I'll do now is just do this last one. Doesn't mean he's not going to come back tomorrow night and do the same thing. And maybe it will strengthen. Okay, see how that goes. You can see he's taken a lot of the leaves off. 